Hello, welcome to the first demo of the Brocade VTM Puppet module. Um, in this demo, I'm going to be showing you um, the module, uh, how to install it from the Forge, and how to upgrade it um, from you know one version of the Traffic Manager to another. Um, obviously, we'll keep it upgraded, um, but this is just to demonstrate the automatic um, generation of manifest code. Uh, just by walking the REST API. So in this demo, we're going to be using Docker um, because you know we can launch instances really quickly, throw them up, tear them down, not care about them. Um, I'm going to use aliases to do that rather than type in Docker commands. So you know I've got VTM 9.9 .9 through to 10.2, um, which will launch specific versions of the Traffic Manager for us, and a couple of other commands to get its IP address and password and stuff like that. So at the moment we've got nothing running. Um, let me uh, just start a browser. Uh, <coughs> window. Um, so we've got nothing running in there. Um, let's just launch a 9.9 .9 instance. Okay, so that's now being executed by Docker. If I do VTM IP, I can get its IP address and VTM password to get its password. And VTM open should open it in a new tab for us. Okay, so let's just log in. Just, okay, so you can see it's 9.9. .9. Um, if we log in, um, you can see clean, freshly installed traffic manager. Okay, so what should we do? Um, so CD uh, Puppet module. I'm not using a master or anything, I'm just, just running it locally um, on my laptop. So let's just install the module from the Forge first of all. Puppet module install. Tux Invader Brocade ATM. Um, now I want a specific version. I want um, one of the th oops, I want one of the uh, 3.3 3 releases. So greater than 33, but less than 34. It's fine. Uh, the reason for that is because um, if we look at the REST API, um, the version. The version as released with 9.9 um, .9 is, funnily enough, um, 3.3. And there you have it. So we're specifically after that version. And these are the modules. Okay, let's have a look in here. Um, you can see we've got uh, various files in here. Um, all of our, um, well, most of the DSL is obviously in the manifest folder. All of, these, um, all of these manifests in here. Um, so there's 91 manifests. Um, <coughs> um, start, there's, let's open a terminal. Uh, I mean, uh, so we have in our manifest, we have 9,360 lines. The virtual server's manifest is 9,752. Its MD5 sum is manifest virtual servers is that. Okay, so just chuck that in there for now. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to throw this away and regenerate it using the tools in the folder. To show you how that works. Okay, so um, first of all, in uh, clean up the um, deletes the manifests. Only things in there now are the, the manually generated ones, the init and the purge copy. Um, there's also, it, we've deleted all of our um, templates from the templates folder, um, some files as well, and also um, the documentation is all gone. Okay, so let's update the docs first of all. So um, bin update docs, and we're going to Um, so being update docs, um, we're going to give it a path to a folder containing um, the actual API documentation. We ship the documentation with each release of the traffic manager. So you can just download that documentation and then use update docs, tell it where it is and it will generate the documentation for you. Um, that's how we can put it at the top of the manifests. And this is now all in scale docs. Okay. 
Right, so manifest system empty. Um, let's now generate our manifests. So you see, so again, we want to generate 3.3. .3. So it's the same version as we downloaded. But this tool is going to walk the API, and each object it finds, it's going to um, do probes to try and create objects, and it's going to generate all our manifests for us. So run that. Okay, so it's walking the API now. Every time it finds a mandatory parameter, it's going to ask you um, what it should use as a default, um, and then uh, just carry on and walk through. So let's just go through these. <clears throat> so it's generating all these objects, and it's finding that some of them have mandatory parameters, and when it does, it's going to ask you. So for instance, the virtual server must have a pool, and it must have a port. Okay, so that's completed now. If we go and look back in here, we'll see lots of errors probably. So it's created all these brocade rest objects. Um, so now we dump them to the files and finally clean it all up. We should go back to green and it'll disappear. There you go. Um, and now in manifests, we have all our objects back. And you know, um, so if we look at the virtual server one, um, the documentation has been copied in from that scale folder. And then this is the actual generated manifests with all its parameters at the bottom. And as you can see, basic pool and basic port were mandatory, and they are now required parameters in the module as well. Okay, so just to verify that, and word count manifests star 9360, um, which is the same as in here, 782 for that, and the MD5 sum of manifest virtual servers is matching and it's also obviously generated our template files as well all our ELBs for posting to the REST API excellent so we've downloaded the module we've deleted all of the manifests in it and regenerated them just by writing the script cool um, but what about but that's not really useful um, so let's look at upgrading our traffic manager so let's kill um, our 9.9 version. <clears throat> okay, so that's gone. Get rid of that. Um, and let's launch a 10.2 version. Still booting. And it's up. So VTM open. That's our password. Admin password login. Yes. Okay, so this is 10.2. So one of the things we added in 10.2 um, was HTTP2 support to virtual servers. If we grab that in the 9.9 API, uh, sorry, the 3.3 API from version 9.9, it doesn't exist. So let's go through that process of um, regenerating the manifest again. So the first thing we do is we clean up, delete everything. Excellent. Then we update the docs. This time though we're going to use 3.6, which is the latest API with the 10.2 release. And then we're going to um, generate the manifests. Again, for version 3.6. Go. <coughs> okay, so we bought the API again, finding all the parameters and the objects, any new ones will be added, etc. <clears throat> go through, dump them out, to clean up. Right, so, um, if we word count manifests start now, you can see just in virtual servers it's gone up from 700 odd lines to 900, and we've gone from 9360 up to 9986. So 600 lines of code automatically generated for us. Um, addition wait, between you know, version 9.9 and version 10.2. And if we grab HTTP2 in manifest virtual servers now, you can see we've got support for HTTP2 immediately. You know, so because we generate the public module dynamically and automatically, there's no need for somebody to sit down and add support for new features as we add them to the traffic manager. New features get REST support and that means they get Puppet Module support as well. Okay, cool. Thanks for watching.